The Kenya HIV Estimates Report 2018, released by the national government, demonstrates a gradual decline in HIV prevalence, but also indicates the need for sustained efforts to halt and reverse HIV. Women aged between 15 and 24 years, according to the report, have the highest risk of contracting HIV, with the report constituting the bulk of new infections. And as Kenya joined the rest of the world, in marking AIDS Day, concerns over new infections and lack of testing, especially by men, abound. We still have not reached the level of less than 20,000 new HIV infections a year that was predicted by the UNAIDS as a threshold to reducing the chances of a resurgence of the epidemic. In Nairobi's Majengo area, the obtaining situation paints the picture of a population that is vulnerable and lacking awareness on the virus. We have a total of uh, 300 street families, kids and mothers, and then we got them from different bases from Nairobi. Stakeholders in the fight against the virus holding sensitization campaigns in an effort to sustain gains made over the years. Uh, we are targeting about 18,571 OVC. We're working in uh, five sub counties within Nairobi. We kwa street watu na share girlfriends, we share in the street. Ndio maana tukaamua leo tukuje tu celebrate na watoto wetu na tujue wale wenye labda wanaweza kuwa na hiyo condition na wapati matibabu. Such campaigns characterizing proceedings across the country as the government and partners steps up efforts to have Kenyans get tested. Kama sasa mwaka hii mimi nimefikisha miaka 20 nimekutuma dawa. Na nasikia anaendelea vizuri. In Kilifi, the county government has rolled out a partner notification program aimed at increasing the number of people getting tested for HIV and AIDS. Ukimu, si ugonjwa na uwa. Unaweza kuhishi na virusi mwilini mwako, ukatumia dawa, ukaishi, ukalea watoto, watoto wakaenda paka university, wakapata kazi. Na wewe badu uka uko mzima kabisa. The recently released Kenya AIDS Response Progress Report 2018 indicates that more men died from HIV-related complications last year at 13,800 as compared to women whose death toll stands at 10,100. New HIV infections among all ages declined from 77,200 in 2010 to 52,000 800 in 2017, indicating a 32% decline in the number of new annual HIV infections, while new HIV infections among adults aged 15 and above also declined from 63,700 in 2010 to 44,800 in 2017, a 30% decline. A report by UNICEF indicates that some 360,000 adolescents are projected to die of AIDS-related diseases across the globe between 2018 and 2030, translating to 76 adolescents every day. Irene Mchuma Odim, Channel 1.